This is the second episode to the Melanie Department series, and it will go over Melanie documents and workspaces. The first episode goes over general behavior with departments. If you have not watched that yet, watch it now. It will be linked below. Melanie documents and workspaces can be leveraged by both servers and departments. This is a feature that will benefit both types of communities. However, because this series is scoped to departments, we will be only focusing on departments. On your department, go to the Resource tab. Then, click New. This will give you the option to create a new workspace, document, form, or folder. We will be starting with the workspace, and I will call this workspace Regulation Docs. Click Create. You are now in your workspace. If you want to create a document, then click New, Document. This will open our collaborative document editor. If there are multiple people on the document, it will show them in the top right corner to the leftmost point of the version history button, and you will see their cursors and what they're typing. Think of it like Google Docs. We have full formatting including headings, code blocks, bold, italics, underline, and more. We have multiple font options based on what you have available on your computer. For me, I have Open Sans, Arial, Helvetica, Times New Roman, Georgia, Career New, Fernanda, and Calibri. To create a header, type a hashtag, space, and then enter your text. To enter header 2, do two hashtags and then space. Two hashtags and then space. To edit the size of text, click on the minus button to the left of the number in the toolbar. If the text is too small, highlight the text and then click the plus button. As you can see, this works similar to regular Google Docs. You can also insert a banner to your document. As you can see, I now have a banner on my document. We also have introduced a new sharing system for both applications and documents. To get started, either click Share Document to the right of Add or Remove Banner, or click Share below your profile picture to the left of the version history button on the document. Documents are synced with the folder's permissions, however, I will be overriding that for document-only access. Folders have an identical sharing system to documents, so if you're sharing a folder, you will see what you're seeing here. You can add a person, department ranks, or Discord roles. I can search up my Discord username. And as you can see, I can click myself here to give me access. I can give myself viewer or editor access. If you want a department role, then in my case, I will search up officer, scroll down, and then click on the department rank. I can give everyone with the officer role viewer or editor permissions. If I want to, I can also give general access via a link. For now, when you click copy link, it will give anyone with the link viewer access. However, you can also restrict this document so the link is no longer valid. I will click Save Changes now. Now, everyone with the officer role is able to view my document, but not edit it. We also have a sub-document system. To get started, click on New Sub-Document to the right of the either Add Banner or Remove Banner button. I now have a document inside of this document. This is useful if you want to have a general document talking about the regulations of your department and then specific rules and sub-documents. Sub-documents work like regular documents, however the sharing system matches the regular document. As you can see, the sharing has inherited the options from the non-sub-document that we created this off of. You can click Sync Permissions with Folder, and as you can see when I click on the Share button, the specific permission that we made for the officer role is no longer there. To go back to the police department I created, I will click on the police department below the workspace name that I created on the sidebar. I will go back to resources and then I will make a folder. To get started, click new, folder, and then select a name. I will have the options for either folder or workspace. Workspaces are more advanced. For simpler needs, pick a folder. As you can see, I now have a folder. If you want to manage the folder, click on manage folders to the left of the new button. This will give me options for sharing and configure folder. Sharing is similar to the document sharing I showed you earlier, and the configure folder has the options to change the name and folder type. You can change the folder type to be a workspace instead if you wish. Workspaces have a similar sharing system. Share, and then you have more options here. Remember, every document inside of a workspace or folder inherits the permissions of the workspace or folder. However, you can override this via setting specific permissions for the resource. I will now open a side-by-side -side preview of what a document looks like in a folder and a workspace. What you are looking at now is a document inside of a folder, and now you're looking at a document inside of a workspace. As you can see, on the left side of the page for the workspace, there are options to configure the specific documents I have set up. On the folder page, it's a single document. This is because workspaces and folders function differently. Folders only allow you to have one document and no sub-documents, while workspaces are meant for larger document trees that need to be more organized. Editing a document inside of a folder is the same as editing a document inside of a workspace. However, inside of a folder you cannot set a sub-document or a banner. The sharing system works the same though, and you can override the folder sharing if you wish. To create a form, go back on the resources tab of your department and then click New, Form. Select the name, and then click Create. This functions like a regular Melanie form, with a few differences. For example, applications have inherited our new sharing system on both Melanie servers and department servers. Click on the Share button, 
and share your application like how you would before. You can select ranks and then give them permissions like reviewer or editor. This is in replacement of the older system where you can only select specific reviewer or editor ranks. When you go to the form settings, there's a toggle to join the department on approval. This is similar to the join my only server on approval button that we had previously on applications. Other than that, applications are pretty much the same as they were before, and the same great experience as applicants as it was before. If you want, you can drag and drop resources into folders or workspaces as well. For example, I will drag the entrance application that I just made into the regulation docs workspace. There is now a toggle that I see to sync the permissions. I will enable this. Now that I've moved it, I can go to the regulation docs workspace and see that the application is now inside of my regulation docs workspace. I've also inherited the permissions of the workspace. I will also unlock a new sharing category called reviewer. This will let people review the application. We're also announcing the change of the application's wording starting today. Applications are now forms. We made this change because we intend to expand the capability of applications beyond just getting accepted into a staff team or any other uses that people might have currently. Your links to all your applications will remain valid though. There's no changes that need to be done on your side. This marks the end of the second episode of the Melanie Department series. The third and final episode will go into much more detail on how to configure your department. We're going to touch base on every single setting that you can configure and more. Thank you.